as an international student, there might be times where you do feel overwhelmed. From the cultural shock to the academic struggles, where do you begin? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about challenges international students face abroad. The first difficulties international students face is cultural shock. Moving into a different country where you don't know anyone and you are beginning your life all over again. It is very overwhelming with the cultural shock that we experience. When I first moved into the UK, I thought it was going to be very easy for me to fit into the culture and everything people were doing in this country. It may make you feel disorientated and these are some of the common signs of cultural shock. Extreme homesickness, isolation and feeling of disorientation, sleeping and eating disorders, loneliness and sadness. Several times when I first moved into the UK, I called my parents and told them I was coming back home. I did not want to stay here. I just felt like I was trapped in someone else's land. People might think it's an exciting journey. Yes, it is an exciting journey. But moving into a new country where you haven't made any friends, you don't know anyone, and the culture is different from your home country, it is very, very real for you to feel cultural shock. Some of the things you can do to help you when you have cultural shock is try to keep an open mind, speak English whenever you can, visit the student union to make some new friends, find some places you can visit as an international student. The second thing I wanted to talk about is financial difficulties. It is real for international students to go through financial difficulties. You travel abroad to study and things happen. You might end up having family issues at home or something happening where you are studying, which puts you into uh, financial difficulties. You are not on your own. You need to make sure you ask for help. Financial support is available within your university. They can provide information on how you may be eligible for food or any financial help that is available within the university. So do not feel like you're on your own and you're struggling financially and you cannot ask anyone. Go and visit your student financial services and they might be able to point you to the right place. The next thing on my list is language difficulties. Moving into a country where they don't speak your first language is very difficult. You have to adapt, to fit in and understand what they are trying to say all the time without feeling isolated. Even if you are in an English speaking country, sometimes their accent and everything is different. There are times where I'm with my university friends who were born in the UK and have been studying here for many years. They speak, say some things that I'm not really familiar with because I didn't grow up in this country. They might make a joke which I think might not be funny to me or I don't really understand the joke because I don't know what they are talking about. If I was back in my country Ghana and made, they made such jokes I would be able to understand what they are coming from. So sometimes the language barrier, understanding information and communicating can be very very challenging which puts us in a little box and makes us feel isolated but you're not on your own the best thing you can do in this situation is to just explain to them that you really don't understand their joke or you don't know what they are talking about and if they are nice people they will explain to you so you do not feel isolated but feel the sense of belonging making friends is also one big thing that can make international students very very isolated when I first started university, I thought I was a very sociable person and I could make friends with anyone. But that is not how people in the UK make friends. To be able to make friends with them, you have to have a lot of things in common with them and you have to make an effort. If you don't try and say hello to them, sit with them and talk with them, they will not be able to know if you're interested or not. Back in Ghana, we just say hello, take their contact details and start communicating. But here, I have observed that to be friends with someone from this country, you need to be sitting close to them. They offer you a cup of tea. You accept it. You work with them for lunch. You sit in the group with them so they know that you're interested in making friends with them. Even though sometimes we like to keep ourselves to ourselves and not be a bother, when you do such, they might think that you're not interested in building a friendship with them. Then you end up being isolated all the time. You need to register to go to some clubs, anything that you are interested in, football, golf, basketball, the student union, they are also very good with matching people up, friendship, 
groups and organizing things that you might be interested in so those are the kind of places you should go and make friends also there are places that you can visit to make friends there are clubs that are being set up online and also with the student union you need to contact them and ask them the groups that you might want to be part of so there might be a group for Ghanaian students or Africans there might be groups for Asians, Europeans. These are not groups that are meant to isolate people. But then you might find people that like similar things like yourself or have the same similar interest. So you'll be able to make such friends. You also need to put yourself forward to volunteer. So if there is any services available and they are looking for volunteers to take part in something, putting yourself forward and being proactive in your school community will enable you to be able to make friends without feeling isolated in conclusion cultural shock is real and can affect our health and well-being by recognizing these issues that i have mentioned and addressing them by making adaptations you'll be able to make friends and feel like you belong to the school university community these are some of the challenges international students face abroad if you're able to recognize some of these issues you can foster an environment and community that is in support of your well-being and give you a good experience while studying abroad i hope you did enjoy this video please do not forget to subscribe to my videos and like and leave a comment also let me know what you want me to talk about in my next video thank you and i'll see you in my next video bye